Hey everybody, it's Patty. Hi, Facebook Live. Um, I got a new phone and I don't even know how to use it, but I'm hoping that this is going to record. And um, as many of you know, I've been in the hospital and uh, I got out. I've, I look a mess tonight, but I want to tell you something. It means something to know the Lord, to obey Him, because tonight He was uh, dealing with my heart on when I need Him. I need Him, and I need Him now. And when He wants me to do something for Him, I don't need to procrastinate, and I don't need to put it off. I need to do it now. And I know I look a mess, and I'm tired, and it's late, and I've been sick. My problem, one of them is, anyway, that I have really low hemoglobin, red blood cell count. And um, they don't know why. Uh, they don't know if my body's just not making red blood cells. But about every two to three months, I've been having to have a transfusion. And when I went into the hospital, they just look at me. And, you know, I, I trust the Lord and I wait usually till the last minute because I'm believing God to come by and to deliver me because he is my healer. And he has healed me many times before. He's healed my children. And I don't doubt him. And I don't understand sometimes the things that we go through. But they'll just look right at me right in the eye and say, Ma'am, you either take this blood or you're a dead woman. You can't live with a blood hemoglobin level of six. It needs to be at least 12. And this time they kept me. They, uh, I feel like they don't always tell you everything, you know. But I'm so thankful that even through all the new rules and the regulations and not allowing visitors and having people with you, <laughs> Jesus is always there. He's always with us. And I was very aware that I was not alone. And I want to tell you this scripture. This come to me tonight. And uh, you just have to bear with me and overlook me because I don't care anymore what people think. I don't care what they think I look like or what I sound like or anything else because one day I'm going to stand before Jesus and all that's going to matter is was I obedient to him and did I please him and was I do everything that he required of me and that's exactly what I want to do. And I know I can see things going up through there, and I can't read them. But I'm thankful for those of you that are on here and that are watching. And I pray that somehow or another that I can do or say something that'll be a blessing to you. And I got this old sweatshirt on because I stay colder than most people where my blood is low. But you all remember me and pray for me when you think of me, because whether my body makes the blood or not, the Lord is able to give me one final transfusion, and I'd never need blood again. He's more than able to heal this broken body and to raise me up to work for him and to save souls and to build the kingdom of heaven. I can't save nobody, but I can talk to them. I can tell them the word of God. I can tell them what Jesus has done for me, and hopefully the Holy Ghost will move upon them and convict them of their sin and that Jesus, the Father, will will draw them unto Jesus and he will save their soul. But the scripture that was on my heart is in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And it says that I has not seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Have you ever thought about that? He said that our eyes on this earth, no matter how much of the beauty of all that he has created or the miracles or anything else that we have seen, our eyes have never seen 
nor our ears heard. Neither has it entered into our hearts the things which God has prepared for them that love him. We're going to see things we've never seen before. We'll hear things we've never heard before. They, our hearts can't even imagine the things that are there because they're going to be so brand new to us. Praise the living God, hallelujah, that he has gone to prepare a place for us. And where he is, we can also be if we will serve him and be found pleasing to him. Quit getting caught up on the little things that will definitely make no difference in the eternity. But get your relationship right with Jesus. Make sure that you are on speaking terms with God, that you know his voice, that you hear him and he hears you. Don't worry about what I do or what somebody else does or pointing the finger at anybody else, but get yourself ready. Work while it's day, for soon night cometh when no man can work. <laughs> the hour is late, children, the hour is late. And you can see the book of Revelation. You can see the scriptures from beginning to end fulfilling. And it won't be long. And I can tell you that that's the truth. That ought to witness with your spirit. Now I'm going to try. I haven't played the guitar. And I can't even remember how long. And I'm weak. And I haven't sang in a very long time. And right now, my heart is just so emotional and broken because I love the Lord with all of my heart, and I want to be obedient to Him. And I'm not ashamed to make a fool of myself on here. I just don't ever want to shame Him, and I want to be pleasing to Him. So I'm going to try to do this little bit of this song for you, and I pray that God will use it and bless somebody. A country where no twilight shadows deepen. A city where... No, I can't even see the words. Hold on, folks. You'd think I'd had them memorized all these years, and I do some of them, but... Oh, help me, Lord Jesus. A country where no twilight shadows deepen. Unending day where night shall never be. A city where a hard time here doing this but listen to this verse this means everything to me I won't even be able probably to sing it I'll just have to tell you what it says but it says and when it last I can't even see through the tears in my glasses but when at last we see the face of Jesus Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise you, Jesus. Before whose image 
other love softly. And when they crown him Lord of all, I'll be there. Now this is just what heaven means to me. A place where there is no misunderstanding. And from all enmity and strife, we're free. No unkind words to wrong the heart are spoken. Now this is just what heaven means to me. I long so much to have many crowns to lay at Jesus' feet. And when they crown him Lord of Lord and King of Kings, I want to be there. You know he already holds that title. And I believe in my heart he's been crowned. But I believe that I will be able, I want to have something to offer to him. This flesh ain't worth nothing. And my spirit and soul belong to him. But I'm praying that I make it, that I'll endure into the end and be saved. And that's my heart's desire, is to be there when they went to see Jesus, when at last I see the face of Jesus. Oh, what a day. What a glorious day that will be. Now, I don't know how to end this video. I don't know what the Lord is wanting or desiring how to end this, but I want every one of you all to know that I desire your prayers. I love you. And I'm just thankful tonight that he made me able to be able to turn that phone on and to somehow get to Facebook Live and to be able to make this video. And I know it was probably horrible, but it was from my heart to the door, Jesus. And I know to him it was no doubt beautiful because he's not looking for the things that men look for, and I'm not trying to please man, because the Bible says if I try to please man or seek man's applause, what good is it for me to be the servant of the Lord? It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. I would be worshiping my God in vain. So I love you all. Everybody hold true, hang in there through these hours, these dark times. Be encouraged. Get in the word and realize, I'll read you this one more time if I can see through these tears. I has not seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Do you love him? Do you love him? Do you love him more than you love yourself? Do you love him more than you love your family? You know, I've had people walk away from me, my family members, that I loved with everything in me, because why? I won't compromise. I tell the truth. I stand strong. I stand firm on the word of God. I won't tell anybody what they want to hear, and I'm very misunderstood most of the time. I try to study a lot. I try to do things that are helpful, that will be beneficial in the end days, in the end time to help folks. And you know what? I've never seen a time like we're living now. I've never seen how angry people get because you try to help them and because you tell them the truth. It's a terrible time. It's a terrible thing. And we know they call it the great and terrible day of the Lord. And it's going to be terrible for those who are not ready to meet him. But it's going to be great for those that are going to be caught up and meet him in the clouds. And I praise the Lord tonight and thank him for this opportunity. And I will try my best to come back on here again someday. But I always wait to be led by his spirit. You all keep me in your prayers and I'm praying for you. I love you. Good night.